When it comes to sea creatures, we have to say that they have a unique way of giving birth. Well, at least some of them. The reproduction process for some of them can be painful and straight out crazy, but it still happens. Today, we are going to dive deep into the waters and reveal some of the craziest ways sea creatures give birth. So, without further ado, let's take a look at some of them. Number 10, Sea Dragon. While many sea creatures have the female carry the eggs and give birth, the sea dragon has it the other way around. The male is the one responsible for bearing the offspring. The female deposits her eggs onto the male's spongy tail, and the female then fertilizes the eggs. The eggs are then incubated for 30 to 40 days. When they are about to hatch, the male simply shakes his tail and detaches the eggs, helping the babies break free of the eggs. Since they don't have a brood pouch, their offspring aren't held internally, which is a unique way to bear babies. Some researchers have even debated whether they can actually be considered pregnant. However, they still provide oxygen and security to their young, helping them survive until they hatch. Number 9. Kitchlid While many sea creatures hold their eggs in a pouch inside their bodies, the kitchlid holds their fertilized eggs in their mouths. The process begins when the female lays the eggs in a nest where the male comes and fertilizes them. Afterward, the female picks up the eggs in her mouth and carries them until they hatch. The eggs are carried this way for 10 to 15 days. The female then holds the babies in the mouth for up to two more weeks. They occasionally release them for feeding, but if they sense danger, they will quickly suck them back in. The female is completely responsible for the babies and taking care of them, while the male takes no part in caring for and raising the young. If the male is present when the eggs are hatched, he may even eat them as soon as they're released. Number 8. Octopus The octopus is by far one of the most interesting marine creatures. But did you know that when it comes to reproducing, it is a death sentence for the male? Well, this is how it goes. The process begins when the male fertilizes the female. But after mating, the female is known to eat the male. If she doesn't, the male will eventually die a few months later. The female is capable of waiting until she is ready to lay eggs, and then ends up watching over them until they hatch. After the eggs hatch, the female also dies. This means that each octopus is capable of reproducing only once before they die, which is by far the worst way to give birth. Number 7. Pipefish these seahorse cousins have a similar looking mouth, but tiny bodies, and appear a bit more stretched out than a seahorse. With this species, the female pipefish drops the eggs into the male's pouch on their bellies. While inside their pouches, the eggs get fertilized, and the male ends up caring for them until they hatch a couple of weeks later. They can then carry up to 40 offspring in their pouch. The young are born free swimming and begin feeding immediately. The interesting fact is that the male pipefish will not carry offspring from a mother they aren't fond of, so they typically choose which female they'd like to carry eggs from. Number 6. Cuckoo Catfish While you would believe that a fish would like for her species to carry her eggs, the cuckoo catfish actually uses the mouth of the kitchlid to harbor her eggs. The cuckoo catfish will swim up to the kitchlid and lay eggs in the kitchlid's mouth for her to carry. At this point, the male kitchlid comes to fertilize the eggs, thinking they are female kitchlid eggs, when actually they are cuckoo catfish eggs. This entire process happens in a few seconds, making the male kitchlid unaware of what is happening. Since the cuckoo catfish eggs grow and hatch faster than kitchlid eggs, the newborns often eat the kitchlid's eggs. It is a bizarre yet effective way for the cuckoo catfish to have someone else carry and fertilize her eggs. Number 5. Mouth Brooding Yellow Barred Jawfish Speaking of fish that carry their offspring in their mouths, we have to talk about the Yellow Barred Jawfish. Just like the sea dragon and the pipefish, the male jawfish does all the hard work. He carries the eggs he just fertilized in his mouth until they hatch. Through the incubation, the male doesn't eat anything in a process that goes on for nearly a month. Upon hatching, the offspring are released into the water but they often stay close to the dad and can go inside his mouth if danger approaches. 
the yellow barred jawfish is known to be one of the best parents on the planet. Well, the dad, actually. They stick to their offspring for a long time after hatching and protect them from any threat by placing them back inside their mouths. Number four, flatworms. Generally, all flatworms are hermaphroditic, meaning that each individual has both male and female reproductive components. This means that they have the ability to reproduce by themselves without the need for a male or a female. There are a few multiple methods of reproducing flatworms, but the weirdest one is when they reproduce by themselves. This process is also called cloning, and it happens when a flatworm splits off a part of his body, allowing the separated portion to grow into a new worm. They can also lay eggs and fertilize them, and also they can reproduce by budding, where the flatworm grows an extension from its body, which later becomes a new worm and separates from the original flatworm. Number three, Surinam toad. The Surinam toad doesn't only lay eggs. In fact, the female toad actually lays her eggs, then the male comes and fertilizes them and places all of them on the female's back. The eggs stick there and skin actually grows over them and protects them until they hatch. Her back turns out to look like a honeycomb and about seven days later, the eggs hatch and the baby toads crawl out of the holes in the protective skin. Even after they are hatched, the mother has to carry them on her back until they are ready to fend for themselves. After each baby leaves her back and goes into the water, the mother then sheds off the old skin and starts preparing for the next birth. This unique and bizarre way of childbirth can only be seen on this Suriname toad. Number two, blue banded goby. Many species of fish are born either a male or a female but the blue-banded goby has the potential to become both if needed. These species live in crowds with up to 120 fish per square yard. Each group has a dominant male as the head of the group with several females below him. However, if the head of the group dies, the biggest female in the group can become a male and take on the role of head of the group. They also have the incredible ability to change back into being female. Due to this, the process of reproduction is tricky, meaning that since they change up their gender, there could easily be a male carrying eggs and a female reproducing with another female. They can shapeshift from male to female multiple times in their lifetimes, making them some of the most interesting species in the world. Number one, seahorses. And of course, we couldn't end this video without mentioning the seahorse. The male seahorse is the one that carries the pregnancy and gives birth. The female simply deposits eggs into the male's brood to be fertilized, but she isn't taking them back afterward. The eggs remain in the male's pouch where they grow. When the time comes to give birth, the male forces the babies out into the water. They can give birth to up to 2,000 seahorses at once, then immediately get ready to carry another bunch of eggs from females. They might go through all of this, once the babies are out of the water, they are immediately left to take care of themselves. On a related note, we wanted to know which sea creature out of the ones we mentioned do you believe gives birth in the craziest way? Let us know in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, Thanks for watching, guys.